Tony a defeat tonight, but you must be so proud of your players. I was really proud of that level of performance that they put in. I thought the players deserved a clean sheet. There's so much you need to do against Celtic when you come here in terms of out of possession. And I thought our shape was great, I thought our discipline was great, and I thought the players executed a game plan. And not just that, you know, we, we carried a threat, we were good in the ball, so really pleased with the level of performance that I got. It showed you how Celtic were struggling to break us down, bringing on three subs yeah. after half time. And I think when you see the, the level of subs, the standard of subs that they bring on, yeah, I mean, that, but that's what you're facing, that level of opposition. But I, I, I didn't think we wavered when they did that. I do. I think it was. I do think the boys deserved a clean sheet tonight, and I thought we had a brilliant chance in the first minute of the game. So I've got to be pleased with that, you know, regarding the, the way the players executed that game plan, and you know, just the confidence they showed when we were in possession as well. And that's something we've just got to build on. You know, it's a real platform. I think the last two away performances have been really, really strong. We now need to just need to make sure we transfer that to our old performances. Yeah, I know there was parts of the last game that you weren't happy with us defensively, but tonight shows that we, we can do it. Absolutely, against a real top opponent, you know, you need to remember that's us playing against Celtic. You know, Celtic by their own admission, Celtic won't play a team, you know, same same kind of set up against when they play Dortmund, do you know what I mean? We do so much right tonight out of possession to make sure that we, we do our best to keep a clean sheet. And the most pleasing aspect for me tonight, as well as the team performance, was the, the three academy graduates we had in the middle of the pitch and Finn Robertson, Leo Cameron and Josh Mulligan, I thought they were outstanding. And for a club of Dundee, that's, that's a really good map. That's a good map that we're doing things right. You know, and you see their opponent is uh, someone that's been at our club and improved and developed. And that's what Dundee Football Club's all about. It's about improving and developing footballers. And that's what we've done. We have three academy graduates out in that arena performing the way they did tonight. I think the club should take a lot of pride in that. Because I've said before, we've got a young squad. We've had times where we've made mistakes, we're learning from the mistakes, but it shows these young boys are learning. Absolutely, and it, you know, it's a season, it was the same last year, the campaign gets stronger and stronger as we went on, and I'm, I, I do believe it will this year as well, you know, because I think that, yeah, there has been a settling in period, there's been a lot of change. You need to remember, we lost our, but you've seen it tonight, we lost our best player, our captain, and it does take a time to adjust and adapt to that, but I think tonight, again, we go a long way towards doing that, and now it's just taking into Sunday's game and making sure that we're ready for that. And we've also had a number of injuries as well. On one we've got six injured, three we've six out, and it's all experienced ones. It's all your Trevor Carsons, Joe Shaughnessy's, uh, Jordan McGee, uh, other ones that you'll know, do you know, but I, I do think, you know, things turn for you. If you if you keep up a level of performance and you put in that type of performance then, you know, things turn for you. I do think tonight the players are really unfortunate. I don't think it was a penalty kick. I think it was a foul in the build up with Mo Silla. And I do think Tony gets a touch in the ball and Kyogo goes down. So I've even spoke to some of their players and staff and it was a penalty kick. So when it goes from one nothing to two nothing, that makes it more difficult. But I think the players resolve, shape, commitment, mentality deserved a clean sheet tonight. And who knows, you can maybe nick it with the, the, the chance that we get the other end. John McCracken came back in tonight for Trevor, who was injured. John made some brilliant saves, didn't he? Tonight? He did, he did, he made some great saves. He made a lot of good decisions in the game as well, you know. He's, you know, when the ball went back too many times, he picked the right option as well. So, no, really pleased with that. And again, it just shows the, the level of competition I've got, you know, in the squad. And I was really pleased with John, yeah. And you want to kick on from tonight, won't you? Take the positives into Sunday. Yeah, definitely. I don't. I, I, I think, you know, to put in that level of performance tonight against a really, really top opponent, that takes a bit of doing. You know, it takes a lot of work in terms of organisation and preparation. But more than that, concentration and just putting in the physical, putting in the yards. And the players, the players are tired, you know, because they put in so much squad. The distances they covered tonight in that game, you know, was, was fantastic. And I thought they showed that composure in the ball as well. So as manager, I'm really proud of that performance. And more of the same, and we'll be OK. And just lastly, the Dundee fans that came tonight, they're great supporting their team again. Again, you see that support, the players go over that, and, that, you know, that, that kind of... It's nothing better, more pleasing, as I said, same as the Motherwell game when we go over them. The fans appreciate what the players have put in, you know, and, and, and I think there was a real level of commitment, effort from the players tonight. And, and it was great to see the fans reward that and, and great to see the players going over and rewarding the fans because, you know, they give up their time, they give up their money to come and support us all they were doing to Glasgow tonight. So, again, I'd like to put a, a thanks to them and, you know, just stick with us. You know, we'll, we'll get better, we'll keep improving and, uh, and we'll be okay.